Okay. <clears throat> well, you guys know, hell, all I work with is 1018. Uh, you know, I'm not sure whether that's, I think that's a uh, cold roll in there. Anyhow, uh, I'm turning it uh, 460. And I'm taking uh, five thousandths off of it. I've already, uh, oh, that light's terrible. There we go. I've already uh, set everything up, so I'm at five thousandths. Uh, that's on one side. Kind of a sneak up tool. Doesn't break uh, chips real good. I mean, it isn't, isn't the worst. Okay, normally that uh, 1018 tears like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it just tears. You get a crap finish. Now, this isn't a shear tool. I see a lot of guys talking about shear tools and stuff like that. Uh, I want something I can actually work with. I mean, I don't want to be taking off, you know, a thousandths of whack. Um, I need something I can actually, you know, do a little bit of work with. Okay, uh, now it's... I've been okay with this. I need to. I need to change uh, a little bit of the grind to um, provide some sort of chip breaker on it. Let me get that back further so I can get the camera in there. All right. Now what I found works real nice is that super high rate. I guess you can see it. There you go. Um, Basically, it's almost like a chisel plow. It's getting in there underneath the metal and instead of bulldozing it like a uh, carbide insert would, it shears it. But it shears it in a different plane. It shears it in a horizontal plane, not a vertical plane. And it makes for one heck of a nice finish. I mean, you really can't beat that for uh, 1018. At least I think. I don't know. Now I might be able to change this a little bit. I need to put a chip breaker in there and I'm thinking I might be able I might change right in there uh, I might square that up a bit but anyhow uh, that's kind of where I'm at at this point I'll run her in again so you don't get that fuzzy feathery crap uh, let's go in uh, 10 with it just for S and G's. All right, back her off a bit. beats the daylights out of carbide tooling. I mean, carbide just doesn't work on this stuff. Just going for a spring cut. Shows you just how much flex is in these machines. There's a bit of stick out on this uh, material. It shows you just how fine that uh, grind will cut. It's a pretty good grind. I've been happy with it. 
need to modify it a little more, but nah, it takes a while to figure it out. No feathering. I mean, man, that is smooth. That is smooth. Give it the old fingernail test. I mean, that's nice. It's good for pins and like that. You know, if you got to work with this stuff, and you need to have something that's fairly smooth that isn't going to wear your bore out. Um, you try that with carbide, and you just got a stinking mess. I right, do the same cut at. Uh, 750 RPM. I'm gonna have to put some oil on it for this. That's gonna run pretty hot. Really the chips a lot nicer at that RPM. I just I'm just not crazy about using oil. I don't think you get as good finish with oil. Some guys think do hell I don't know. I just not crazy about it. It's still not bad. Now let's run her back and run her dry. Uh, take five. All right. See how much smoother that is? That's really nice for 1018. You're really not going to get much better than that. Uh, plus, I mean, it, it's you're not using these stupid shear tools that you got to only take off just a tiny amount at a time. I mean, you can you can actually work with this thing, uh, you, you know, if you're turning the diameter. All right, for uh, S and G's, let's just run her at uh, 70 RPM. See what we get. taking something off of there. Got a bunch of trash on there from that rag. Let me get it off of there. There we go. My way of thinking, I mean, I might be wrong, but a tool ought to cut at just about any speed. Sure, you're going to get a better finish at a higher speed, but you can get a reasonable finish at, you know, 70 RPM on, oh, what is that now? That's probably three-quarter inch diameter material. That ain't bad.
shut it down. We'll get some of that stuff off of there. I ain't bad for low RPM. I just can't get it good. Yeah, let's try it without it. There you go. Not on this mild steel. So I'm fairly happy with the grind. Like I say, I need to change some of that. Uh, a little bit there on that trough to get those chips to break. But anyhow, that's where we're at. So much for all that fancy uh, shear tool stuff they talk about, I guess. That just ain't bad. I'm trying to get a good. Wish I'd get a good shot of it. Here, let's try it from up above. There we go. That give you an idea of the surface finish. We'll go ahead and take our spring pass.